In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to build out a mobile app for your own project. Let's get started. So looking at the desktop, there's two ways that we can reach the mobile app builder. We can click on the window tab and then click number two here. Or what you'll also notice is that you can use the keyboard to switch between them. So F10 brings you to the main desktop and F11 will bring you to the second desktop, which has our mobile app window. And what you're going to notice is that the interface here looks very similar to what you see on your mobile device. So let's click on the settings gear in the top left corner. And this brings up a window that will allow you to customize the look of your mobile interface and to add functionality. On the left side, you're going to notice a number of buttons for connecting to the robot, movement panels, or you can add image buttons, etc. But we've already got an interface here that is built that I think looks pretty attractive. Uh, so we'll just leave that for now. If you want, you can experiment with that later. What's more important at this point is the mapping across of your functions onto the various buttons. So looking at the interface here on the left side, we've got the movement panel. And on the right side, you've got camera controls. And then you've got a lot of buttons, most of which are empty. And in this case, we've got wave and bow. So let's look at the wave button. And what you'll notice is in the top right corner, you can name your button here. Then you've got a collection of controls to allow you to adjust the appearance of the buttons. And then at the bottom, you've got an edit script button. When you press that, what you're going to notice is it brings out the same scripting interface that you've been using this entire project. So it's very easy for you to add the functionality that you've already programmed into your mobile device. And what you can see here is on this particular button, uh, we've got an auto position action and that action is wave. So let's go ahead and program a button here. We'll click on this one and we will call this uh, good morning. Then we can go down to click on edit script and type in a simple command. This is one you will have, you'll recognize from before. Good morning. And we've saved that now. And so we've got the button called good morning. Once you get your functions mapped across into the mobile interface, go ahead and click the save button in the bottom left corner. And then you can actually test the functionality before saving it to the cloud and then downloading it onto your mobile device. So to do that, you can just use the interface that you see on the screen here. And when pressing any of the buttons, the robot will respond. Okay, and this is a good way to test your new functions that you've programmed in. For example, we just programmed good morning. And when we press it, we can hear him talk. Good morning. So that's it. Good luck with your programming and enjoy your mobile interface.